Um, hey YouTube, <clears throat> and right now, sorry, I was trying to catch my breath because I heard someone shooting guns, so, um, a lot of chaos and disasters going outside. So this is just going to be a quick video on how to help your betas be fed right. Well, I'm going to start with the pellets. Um, I, re I really recommend this food by Tetra. Um, let me show you what it looks like. I, I'm pretty sure... I'm just making this for, I'm pretty sure you've already seen it, if you've seen most of my breeding and videos and stuff. They look like this, and they're called Beta Tetra's Mini Floating Pellets, and they're real small, so they can fit the beta's mouths fine, unlike what, it, see, it's really small, I just did that, so this makes it real small, um, I'm gonna do But, um, yeah, that's the pellets, and I'll be showing you, and betas don't always like pellets, but, like, a 99% of them like the pellets. Um, I have a friend that his betas only like the pellets, they don't like, um, the blood worms, I'll tell you about that later. Um, I'm gonna go move on to the flakes. That's what the... I prefer, I prefer, all my food comes from, uh, Tetra. I'm going to have to clean up. The only thing that I don't like about the, um, the Beta Men flakes for Betas, the only thing I don't like about them is that, um, when you open it, it spills out everywhere. That's the only thing I don't like. Um, they're, they're, they they fit the beta's beta's mouth fine, so I like them. But I only have one beta that will eat this. My female, who's I think is dead, um, did eat these. So that's one food you need to feed them. You can feed um you can feed this to them about um once or twice a day. I only feed every other them this every other day. You need to feed the pellets them if. The pellets only need to be fed to them every other day. Um, blood worms. I, if you're going to breed, this is just a treat. But I breed, so it's I have to feed them this a lot. So, um, blood worms, Fraser Dread Food, has... So, if you feed it to them all the time, um, it will make them fat, and they'll get constipated, and they won't want to eat. If that happens to you, you can go to Brainy Dawn, um, 4, 5, 6, 80... And she'll tell you how you can make this thing where you squish up the peas and something like that where you get a pea. Well, you just buy peas and then go to Brandy Dawn, um, 45680 to figure out how to do it. And look up, go to Brandy Dawn's channel and look up how to care for beta fish care or something like that. Um, this is just a tree and I'll show you what it looks like. Um. This is what they look like. Um, some people use tweezers because they think they're nasty. I don't think that. Just wash your hands after touching some. It's got a child. It's got a childproof lid. So if you have like a younger kid, like a baby, if you are, if you're like a kid like me and has a baby sister and or a baby brother and doesn't want them to eat this, it's got a child child safety lid. Um, and, or if you're a mom or dad and don't want your little kid to get into it, then it's for freshwater and saltwater fish. It, betas is on the top for, um, recommended food. And if they're, so, you don't want to feed them this to them all the time. So if they get real fat and won't want to eat and never poop at all whatsoever, um, then you get a pee and then you go to Brainy Dawn's channel and... Put in Brandy Dawn, and after that, put four, five, four, five, six, eighty. So go to her channel and figure out how to squ make the P rep the re P recipe. Give them the, that. But if their whole body swells up, they have dwarf C, and there is no cure for that. I've lost two or three betas from that. I've lost one beta from body rot, and also lost one from ick. So yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna talk my dad into buying the first aid kit with my money um, offline. So 
That is how to properly feed your beta. And there's other foods you can get, but these are the main foods. And this, that's pretty much it. Bye.